All right, today we're going to be taking a look at how to replace the laptop screen on an HP Envy DV6-7229WM. So the first thing to take note of is the fact that the sides and the top uh, are only secured by plastic clips and uh, some special, uh, some double-sided tape. Um, down here we do have a sticker and underneath the sticker there is one two, three, four screws. Um, and we're going to have to get the screws out before we can take the uh, plastic bezel here off. So the key to that is to have a, an X-Acto knife, box cutter, something sharp. And what we're going to do is uh, work one of the corners off and peel back the sticker. So let's see. All right, and here we've exposed uh, the first screw and the second screw on this side, so I'm going to go ahead and remove those. And then we'll just repeat the process on the other side. Okay. Now that the screws are removed, uh, what we're going to do is just work our fingers kind of into the little front piece here. I don't have to be too careful because this screen is already busted. I don't want to break the plastic. Thank you. 
and that just comes off right there. Now that we've got that off, there are one, two, three, four more screws that we need to get. This should just pull right off. Okay. Now, there is the cable here that we will need to remove and just kind of use your fingernail to pull that loose. The cable is stuck to the back of the monitor, so you do want to be careful. And removing it. And now that we've got that done, the only thing left is to remove the connection on the screen. You'll notice there's a piece of tape right here. And I generally just pull this up and then you can pull it back and it just pops right out. Alright, and now we just reverse the process. When you put the uh, cable back in, there's a little metal clasp here. Um, I'm just going to take the tape and just kind of pull it back in there. You want to make sure you get it seated very well. If you don't want to have to take it back apart, if you don't. And then just push the little metal clasp down. Reapply the tape. And then this piece may still be a bit sticky, so I'll just go ahead and reseat that. Now I need to reconnect this cable here. Oop, careful. Just kind of get it lined up and again use your fingernail to push it in. Put our screws back in. and remove the protective covering.
And as you can see, it works. The only thing left is to put the plastic bezel back on. Snap the end pieces on down there. Push it down a little bit. And the just a reminder, the little black screws go in the on the inside here. And the larger silver screws go on the out. do it right, you can hardly tell that that sticker was pulled up any. And that's it, start to finish.